through those things. You know, I believe the reason why is because he wanted to demonstrate, or even God wanted to demonstrate, that when we have a connection with the Father, it doesn't matter what circumstance can come to us, we can still live without sin. That's the main issue. Remember I said earlier on, before we, we get to the cross and Jesus dying, the main reason that Jesus came to this world is not only because dying on the cross. He had to live a sinless life first. Why? Because in the beginning, Adam and Eve failed. So Jesus says, okay, I'm going to come and I'm going to demonstrate that obedience to God's law is possible as a man. So you know, okay, you know, like what you're, what you're saying concerning Jesus, and yes. he had to, you know, it's perhaps a way to teach the people, like yes. demonstration, for example. Yes. Um, what, what I noticed is that when it comes to, like, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. And what his mission was. Um, yeah, as, as I was saying, like, when it comes to, like, Jesus and how he saw himself. Yeah and how, how he viewed God. Yeah. I think that is imperative yes. um, when it comes to understanding who he was as a man, yes. what his mission was, yes, yes, yes. Um, who he was sent to, yes. what he was sent for. Yeah. Like when it comes to um, Jesus' view of God, for example, yes. like you see in the Gospel of John, yes. in chapter 17, verse three, he says that they, uh, this is a, this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only, the true, only God. true God, yes. and Jesus Christ whom you sent. Yes. Correct me if I if I misquoted no, or words to those effect. So, in the English language, only we know what only means. Only one. Yes. The only true God. So, we see here that Jesus Himself, He does He doesn't say that they may know us, yes, the right. only true gods. Yes. Um, he, single, he, he specifically says only with regards to what you would say is the, referred to as the Father, right? Yes. yes. So, and also like when you see him, uh, when he discusses with Mary Magdalene, right. again in the Gospel of John, I forget the exact chapter and the, and the reference, but he That's says, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. he says, do not hold on to me. I, for I have not re I have not returned to the Father. Instead, go instead to my brothers and tell them I have not returned. I have not. I am returning to my Father and your Father, that's right. to my that's God right. and your God. That's right. That's right. So, John chapter twenty, verse seventeen. Seventeen. Thank you, brother. Yes. So, what? What I find, I won't. I won't say. I don't want to say. I find odd. I find it's, odd. It's I, odd. I find odd. No, what, okay. what, what I mean to say is that I find odd that Jesus' words are crystal clear. Yes. It's explicit in, in what he believes concerning himself and yes. concerning God. But then you have Christians coming along saying that he taking words which are not explicit yes. and using them as what they uh, you know, claim to be evidence yes. that Jesus is divine. Yes. But his explicit words yes. tell us otherwise. Okay. What are your what are your thoughts concerning that? Okay. Now the reason I came here opened my Bible up is yeah, because yeah. You, you're quoting from John chapter 18 or 19 where it says, Don't touch me, I haven't ascended to Ch the Father. Chapter 20, right? Chapter, chapter 20. 20. Is it John 20, yeah? Verse 17. Okay, so but you, you may have read then John chapter 20, the same chapter. Mm -hmm. Jesus does something. Uh, let me see if I can find it. So Jesus, so Jesus says, uh, Jesus had 12 disciples, right? Mm -hmm. uh, he, when he resurrected, <coughs> according to the Bible, mm -hmm. he appeared to the disciples, but one of them wasn't there, Thomas. Mm -hmm. So I'm just reading the account here. Mm -hmm. Thomas said to the disciples, they said, we've seen Jesus. He said, I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. I saw him on the cross. I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. Unless I touch him and see him, I'm mm -hmm. not going to believe. Listen to this. It says, after eight days again, his disciples were with him and Thomas with them this time. Mm. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger and behold my hands and reach hither thy hand and thrust it into my side and be not faithless but believing. So he said, Don't be faithless. Then he says, And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Now hold on a second. 
in no other part of the New Testament or the Old Testament we do we find any man referring to another man, my Lord and my God. Nowhere. Can, can I? Can I? Okay, go on. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah. When when it comes to like uh, the phrase, the phrase, my Lord and my God, for yes. example, when when I read this in the preface of the NIV, by the way. Okay. When it comes to the the, the wording, yes. like the word Lord, yes. used in the Bible, if it's not ca if it's lowercase, yes. for example, capital L, and then lowercase letters, yeah. it's like like a lordly person, for example. Right. When it's when it's all capitalized, it's yes. referring to the Lord God. Right. So when you see the, the, the disciples referring to Jesus, yeah. you see it in lowercase. Yes. So that it's like, or if, if for example, they, they, they say Lord and it is capitalized. Like yes. for example here, like if something happens, yes. like uh, something hits Rehan on the head from the tree, yeah. I may go, Lord, God, what happened? Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> but, okay, but anyway, go on, go on, anyway, if you yeah. if you see if you refer to the chapter here, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you see if you if you got it still the reference, I got it, yeah, 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 yeah. The, read the expression how how it's how it's uh, written. Oh, I hope this guy doesn't want to study. Hold on a second. Hey, yeah, okay. I'll have to deal with that. Like Capit that later. Capitalize for God. Okay. Lowercase for other than that. So so if you look at my this is a King James version. It says, yeah. and Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord, capital and my God, right? Yes. So now now check this out. It's interesting. In the book of Matthew chapter 14, Matthew chapter 28, something happens with Jesus that we don't see anywhere else in the Bible. Right. In chapter 14, let me read it to you, and then you tell me what you see, okay? So Matthew chapter 14, it says this, and you tell me what, what you see. So Jesus is in, uh, he's on the ship with the, with, the, with the disciples. There's a storm that breaks out, and then he gets up and he calms the storm, and the sea is calmed. It says, and when they were coming to the ship, the wind stopped. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, of a truth, thou art the Son of God. Now, from this verse, it says they worshipped him. Now, we can say, yeah, there's, in the Bible, there's other parts where people were worshipped like a, a sign of respect and reverence. But this is not the worship that we see here, here in, this, in this particular book. I'll tell you why. The same word, when you look at it in the book of Acts, the, the Cornelius, a Roman centurion, when he heard about the truth, he comes to Peter. Peter comes to his house, he falls down, he worships Peter. Peter says, hey, don't do that. I'm a man like you. Then you get to the book of Revelation. John is having these wonderful visions. The angel is there with him trying to give him these visions. He falls down to worship before the angel. The angel says, get up, don't do that. Worship God alone. There's three references, four references in the book Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, where it says, Jesus was worshipped. And not one time did Jesus say, hey, hold on a second, don't worship me. So the thing is, I'm going to say this now because I, I don't want to, um, I cannot continue discussing the issue of Christ's divinity with you. The reason why is because I respect you as a Muslim and I know and understand your belief concerning it. Unfortunately, I believe differently. And um, so instead of having a ding dong, <laughs> no, no, that's not. It. I'm not. I'm not you clashing with you. I'm not here to clash with so, you. No, no, no. We're having a yeah, but that's what I'm saying. A civilized discussion. So, so I'm saying <laughs> yeah. that's my stand. I, I, I see Jesus as divine, and um, and I respect Muslims in their belief and their understanding. But that's my understanding. That's my belief. I believe okay. Christ is God. Now, there's something I just want to add before you go. On. There's some things that I believe as a Christian, according to the Bible that many other Christians maybe don't believe or they don't see it. Uh, when Jesus was come down to earth as a man, it says in 1 Timothy 3, I think it is, or 2 Timothy 3, God was manifest in the flesh. God was manifest in the flesh. So, and John chapter 1, in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. So there's evidence for me that Christ is God. Um, however, when I said about what I said about the Christians a moment ago is that my understanding is that there's a work that Jesus had to do, had to accomplish. And it goes back to what I was saying earlier regarding obedience to God. The issue in this world for, for, from a biblical perspective is obedience to God. Can human, humanity obey? No, we can't obey except with the help of God. And the only reason we can uh, uh, the only reason we can obey and have life, really, is because Christ came to give us an example of how to obey. Can I? So that's that's my thoughts. 
Yeah. Mike, do you want do you want to respond? I, 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 yeah, sure. I, I just so, feel like I'm leaving him out. I can okay, I can, can just, I just you, say one you thing before it. I do. I, I can I just ask you can me. take your pick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, give me a second. I don't want him to feel like I'm running away from the combo. I don't know. Um, remind me your name, bro. Remind me your name, sorry. Ridwan. Ridwan, sorry. Oh, Ridwan. sorry. Okay. I'm ready, Anil, when you are. So I'm just, I, just, I need to get home. I've got a meeting. Yeah, tonight. no problem. No go problem. on, go on. So very quickly. So you mentioned about the doubting Thomas. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Now, Thomas wasn't doubting about. If, you, if we're going by your interpretation here, that Thomas is saying that this is a proof that Jesus is divine, then you're telling me that all this time Thomas was doubting the divinity of Jesus? This doesn't add up. Because he interacted with Jesus Christ, as well as the 11 other disciples. And you're telling me out of all the disciples, only Tom was doubting about the divinity of Christ. No, he didn't doubt about the I didn't say that. He doubted that Jesus rose from the dead. Right. So, so that's not exactly. So that's not proving the divinity of Christ. That's only proving that he was resurrected. Although, nowhere else in the Gospels or in the Bible do we see anywhere else somebody okay. saying, my Lord and my God. Thomas did. No, no problem. Okay. No problem. But if you contextualize, yes, yes, if you yes. contextualize the situation, yes. Thomas was not sure if Jesus was resurrected or not. He wasn't. He wasn't. Quite, he wasn't saying, "Are you God or not?" This yes. does, it doesn't prove to him that that Jesus is God. Okay. It's proving that he was resurrected. Okay. Fair okay. Fair so fair. resurrection, a resurrected body, is nothing special. It's nothing to do with the divinity of Christ because we're all going to be resurrected one day. Okay. So okay. that doesn't necessarily mean we're divine, are we? Okay. So first of all, Thomas wasn't doubting about you know whether Jesus was God or not. If you're if you're gone by your interpretation here so that all this yeah. time Thomas was doubting that he was God then it just doesn't add up yeah but I did, again I didn't say that I said he doubted that he Jesus was a res, had risen right from the but what's resurrection got to do with the divinity of Christ it's not what, what it has nothing to do but what I'm saying is the words that he spoke at that time give evidence that Thomas didn't see Jesus merely as a man he said my Lord and my God my Lord and my God Okay. Do, would I say my as, Lord and as, my God? As, as, as I said, if you look, if you look exactly. at that verse, that verse is not capitalized. It is. It's not. I just. I just I, it's not capitalized. If you look at the new international version. It's not. It's, okay, it's, 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 it's Lord with a capital L. And even for the second. And then lowercase o r d. That's okay. an interesting. That's an interesting point you made there. Yeah. Okay, guys. Guys, can I just take a number rather because I really need to go. My friends are okay, waiting. Okay. No please. problem. Are you, are you going to? Can I make one point before you? Go, go, go on, please. Uh, respect you know what you said just now. So Jesus acknowledges Yes, I believe. Do you accept? I believe. Okay, second point is that if you go to the revised standard version of the Bible in 1952, you'll see that verse where it says, My Lord and my God. Yes. It's actually it's not capitalized, but it's an inverted commas. Yes, yes, yes. Not inverted commas though? No. Yeah, I don't want I see what you're saying. I see what that's what the brothers were saying. Okay, yes, I see. I'm gonna respectfully disagree, but listen. He needs to get going. I disagree. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why I disagree is because of the other evidences that I was what that I was saying. John one. In Timothy 3, where it says God was my husband. So that's what I was saying. I respect the, the belief that my brothers have here. Um, maybe we can continue this discussion you, next time I come alive. Are you gonna, Sorry about it. Next time. Are you going to be here next week? <laughs> maybe not. Oh, yeah, I might be here next week. Take. God willing. Take will, have you got Instagram? Give me, give me your, do you have a card or a number? Of Instagram. Follow. Check the ins We can converse on Instagram. We can maybe organize something. Okay. Yeah. Give, give me your number because um, I due to the restriction of time, I don't have Instagram to be honest. No problem. Sorry, Hamza, what's the same? You mentioned Timothy. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned John one. Yeah. And I would love to go through these with you. And I would also like to go through from a language perspective. Okay, okay. That's I know you've got a hand. It means nothing. Okay, so I don't know. Okay, give me, can somebody give me your number? Or, or do you want to take my number? Okay, you give me your number.